M0 FXB Ham Radio Diary. M0 FXB. So we got a new firmware download for the ICOM 705 version 1.24. So we'll keep this quick. So really the improvements are uh, for the RSBA1 app says here 64 digit hexadecimal format for WPA uh, and that's it so it, these are like tiny little tweaks um, but we might as well keep our radios up to date so make sure you've got the USB driver I'll add the link in the description Run, add that to your PC before you connect the radio if you haven't already got it then go to the, the, this, the firmware download page I'll also add the link scroll to the bottom click the tick download the file you'll have a compressed file send that to somewhere on your desktop that you'll find like a, a file called icom705 um, and it the file we're going to be looking for is called the dat124 it's like a little white file that's the one we'll be putting into our sd card um, so when we come back in a sec with a video on the radio we'll be first of all backing up the radio so we don't lose our memories and then we'll be uploading the firmware uh, the firmware update so catch you in a minute we've got the file now in our on our PC so then we're gonna this is this one here 705e124 we're gonna drag it into my drive here uh, right then we'll go into the drive and just check it's in the right place now as you can see here it's it's just underneath the file so what I always do that seems to work so you can find it when you put it in the actual radio. So I just slide it up one and it vanishes with a bit of luck. There you go. And normally that is enough for the radio to see it. So we're going to get the SD card now, put it back in the radio, and then follow the instructions. Let's get the SD card out. So we've turned the radio around, pull this flap down. And then sort of give it a push, quite fiddly. And then it, push it and then it, it'll poke out like that. And then I tend to just grab some tweezers. It's a shame that they've made it so fiddly, but then just slide out. Now when you put it in, you've got to be really careful that when you put it in, um, that you don't miss the, the correct um, slot. Because if you do, um, it will go inside the radio and you don't want that. Let's get the firmware in the radio. So let's get the SD card back in. So we'll just slide it in very carefully. If it doesn't go in easy, you've got it the wrong way round. So take it out like I just did. Turn it round. Try again. Right, that went in easy, then it just clicks in like so so let's get back on the radio right well let's get the firmware in there now so we're gonna go menu set go to sd card now we've done it correct we will um that's for the ah you want the top one firmware update it will the file will be there 1.24 so scroll to the bottom of that, agree to the things, make a backup first, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll click yes to that, we'll do a backup. So we don't lose our memory channels. There's the new firmware, 705E124, so we'll hit that. Now we've got a, a, a fully charged battery in this, so let's make sure. And then make sure that the power doesn't go off. It's very important. And hold your finger down. And then it checks the file. And give it a, there you go, 23 seconds. A bit boring, but um, we'll get in there. So I don't want to stop the video. Um, so yeah, there's not many changes in this one. Um, but, you know, keep our radios up to date. Then it reboots, there's my logo, they are 1.24 here, and that's it, that's your firmware updated. So uh, 7.3, all the best.